Welcome back to Stormworks Unlimited. Today I am going to show you guys how to make the easiest anti-air missile, ground-to-air missile, and air-to-ground missile. You can do it in less than five minutes and it takes no real programming or microcontroller logic to build this thing. It is just slap the parts together and fire it off. So stay tuned and I'll show you guys how to do it. All right, so we're in our workbench here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and type in the word rocket. And we are going to add a solid rocket booster small. And we're gonna stick it, make sure your arrow is pointing out the hanger and you're gonna put it where it's pointing backwards from the arrow. And stab that right there. And then we need some control fins and they drop these new solid rocket fuel small with fins on them and of course all the other sizes as well i want to slap one of those right there now we need the fuel part which is the solid rocket fuel small and we're going to put about and then we'll make the missile kind of long so i don't know five or six whatever you guys want to do there next thing we need is the hard point connector and they made a new one of these as well it's round so it matches the missile bodies which is really nice um and then just to balance the weight, we're gonna stick one, you could do two on there. Another, um, another one of the fuel pieces right here. And then we need a warhead, um, the small warhead body. A radar, you want the missile radar. And honestly, that is all you need to build the missile. Um, we just have to hook everything up. So composite goes from the missile output to the composite input of the fins in the back. Go into the data and we're going to hook up everything. One, two, three, just like that. Uh, back here, we're gonna turn the rocket fuel down. That's probably going way too fast. Um, fin influence can be a little lower too, otherwise it'll get wonky. So let's, let's just try it at 40. We have to adjust later. Now the way these warheads work, when you arm them, then it starts thinking about the impact threshold. Um, so if you arm it at zero, it just blows up. Um, let's put this up to uh, what, 20 meters per second. I know it's gonna be going faster than that, so it doesn't really matter. This has to be set in the radar here, it has to be set to static. I'm gonna bump these up to 0 0.10, which gives us an effective radar range of 800 meters. That doesn't mean the missile can go 800 meters, it means the, the radar can only track 800 meters, but it can read pretty good X and Y field of view. So all we need now, oh, one more thing we got to do over in here is hook up the electricity and you just hook this to this and that is it. So the missile is uh, effectively done. Um, we just haven't tested it. So in order to test it, we're going to use a hard point connector body and we're going to stick it right on the bottom here, just like that. Use our selection grid, clear the contents, and you're gonna hold down control and click on that um, hard point connector body, and then we're gonna cut it, move it up three, and paste it just like that. That is all we gotta do. Um, we're just gonna build us a little stand here. So actually, I don't want to do that. I want to do a pivot. We're gonna use a robotic pivot. Just stick it there, straight down another robotic pivot. This will allow us to turn the missile left, right, and up and down. Um, now I'm gonna use some weight blocks just to build a little um, stand so it doesn't walk around on us while we're trying to fire it. Um, let's go like this. Obviously, you probably don't have to go that big. Um, um, the next thing we're going to need, I'm just gonna put a bunch of blocks. Um, I'm just going to say three high. It doesn't really matter. Um, we need two throttles and those are going to be for changing our pitch and our angle of our missile. Um, we need a button. Um, toggle push. It shouldn't matter. Um, now I want to be able, just like that, we should be able to eye aim it and fire it. Um, so let's go ahead and just hook it up like this. So you got to set these to have a negative one in them as well for the minimum values on these. So they will turn left and right and up and down. Um, hook the one of them to this pivot, the other one to this pivot. 
and the button here goes to the launch command of the connector body, hardpoint connector body. And this is a fully fireable missile at this point, but I want to know when I'm locked onto something. So I'm just going to get another missile radar, radar missile. I'm going to put it right there. Um, we're going to build us a new microcontroller, a one by two. I'm just going to call it missile MC new parts. Copy that, and I'm going to add two nodes. One is going to be an on off output, one is going to be a composite input. Go into the logic, spread these out. We want to a composite read on off, and just hook them together. Save this as missile MC new parts, just like that. Exit out, missile MC. New parts. Uh, we'll just slap it right here and we'll need a light. We can use any light you want, indicator light, that's just fine. And we'll do a little cool paint job on the light here just so we know that it's good to go. Um, one thing else we need is a battery. Let's just plop it down here. We need to hook the battery up. To everything on the stand just like that you just set this radar to the same thing we set the other one at 0 0.1 0 0.1 just like that um, now we go into this and we use our composite and we're gonna use the radar data this time instead of the missile output just go to radar data Put it to the microcontroller we just made. Put the microcontroller's logic output to the light. And I believe we are done. Um, just need to check, make sure. Yep, we set everything. You don't, have, you don't actually have to set this, but you can set it to um, radar guided missile if you want. It, it really doesn't matter. Oh, one thing I, well, I could probably hit it from here. So let's. Uh, Let's just aim it. Woo. I'm gonna aim a little better now, huh? We're aimed at it, even though my light's not working for whatever reason. Um, let's just hit the button. Direct hit. And then, apparently I blocked, oh, there's my missile. You can see how fast it went. Um, let's take a look at why our light didn't work real quick. Did we not hook it up? We hooked it up. Did we not hook power to it? We have power to it. Hooked everything up in here, right? Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, I don't know why it didn't light up. This video, oh, radar's not active. That's the reason why. Um, constant on signal. Plop it wherever, it doesn't matter. Hook that to the radar. Turn it up, turn the dang thing on with help. I'm going to shove this thing out here and see if we can't put shoot something. Alright, choppers directly overhead. Stop please, thank you. Albeit it's not going very fast, but it is moving. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, aim it up just a little bit more and we'll fire it. Oop, wrong button. Let's see what happens. That was a completely direct hit, but uh, 
that chopper super robust. So anyway, guys, I hope you guys like this build. Um, super easy to make. As you can see, you don't need the microcontroller. That's just for our targeting. Um, if you're on a plane, you can just have a reference point in your cockpit that tells you, hey, this is shooting straight about where I need it to be. So I hope you guys like it. Catch you on the next one.